hello happy people hamza here and welcome to this other amazing tutorial now in this video i'm going to take you through another awesome elementor add-on or extension that you can use in your elementor website to get started we are going to come right here to our dashboard and we are going to come to plugins and we'll add a new plugin by simply making a simple search it will show up right here and at the moment i have it installed and activated on my website and when it's activated, it shows up right here with this amazing ribbon. So once I click over there, then I have this other interface right here with the documentation. I can see the number of widgets or elements that are available for me to use and those that are available in the pro version or that need me to purchase in order to use them. Now, in this case, I'm just going to take you through some of those that I found amazing on my site like the navigation menu header search social share wp forms pie chart and a lot more like you can also use in the free version now the other thing also is that they also have modules that you can use on your website now the beauty is that you can use this same elementor extension to create headers with even conditional settings like display site wide or to specific sections and also you can create mega menus the other thing is that you can integrate this extension with MailChimp, Facebook, Twitter, and a lot more. Now, when you open up any of your page, for example, I add a new page here. And here I'll probably say demo page. And I say edit with Elementor. And when I come over here, let me set to the full width canvas from Elementor. Now, when the Elementor canvas shows up right here. You will have this other logo here with EK and this is the option to use a number of already made template sections and widgets from the elements kit add-on. So when I click over there, boom, this shows up here. We can get started with already or pre-made pages by elements kit, headers, footers. There are also ready made sections. that we can simply import and use in our website, both free and those that are for pro users. Really an awesome plugin. Now there are also widgets presets here, like all these ones here. They pretty look amazing. Uh, under the widgets presets, when I come over here, for example, the pie chart, it will show up different pie chart presets. Uh, when I go over to the table widget, the ready pre-made tables this looks really awesome and if we go over here and look into for example the instagram widget this looks awesome like also the other sections they are also grouped into a number of different categories including also the footers for example classic footer black with social link black with instagram feed that's how those look like. Now, when we come over here to the homepage of Elements Kit, you realize that they have a number of amazing extensions. For example, here they say it is over 50 powerful widgets and extensions. You have a header and footer builder, a mega menu builder, mount widgets area, 450 ready-made sections like I've shown you, and 50 plus custom add-ons plus 20 ready-made pages. And the good thing is that Elements Kit has also put together an amazing collection of videos for a number of sections on how you can get started using them in your Elementor website. Now, when we go down here to already made extensions or widgets, there is the advanced tab, there is the simple accordion, timeline widget, tab, client, logo. Now these are free and this is pro and all these other widgets. But simply to take you through what I found really interesting on my case, when I come over here to the countdown timer, they have a tutorial on that and they have these amazingly well-designed widgets or presets that have been already made here and you can also create such a thing or such a widget for your website. Now this for me really look unique. Look at this. In case you want to see other reviews on different other Elementor extensions or add-ons, Please, you're going to check out this playlist up here in the card or in the description box below to see what other Elementor extensions have to offer. Now, when I go over to the pie chart uh, widget that you can still get started using in your Elementor website, now these are kind of 
the things you can create using elements kit and like we have seen in the presets they also have these presets already made for you to get started with now this is something that looks really nice for me and i think you would also love it to try it out in your elementor or website project the next one is a social share widget that is not so common in elementor add-ons and i find this that you would also love to have something like this on your Elementor website. Now, this is basically simply duplicating a tab or adding a new item and you select a social media platform you want to share to or that you want to add to your page. For example, when I come over here to the demo page, then I come here to the widgets area. I'm simply going to collapse all these. And I come to the Elements Kit section. Then I'll come and look up for social media boom i drag it over to my canvas area i can here simply add a number of items that i want to share or that i want to allow my website visitors to share content to by simply adding a new item and choose an item library for example if i search here telegram it shows up here i insert the icon then here i will link up to telegram.com telegram.com and I can even style it up to the way I want it to appear it should be something like this and on the other hand you can style you can decide to have these icons aligned anywhere on your website you can even decide to use the text or even both the text and the icon and under stylings you can even make changes on the size of the icons the spacing between the icons, the width, the height, and a lot more. So that is how you can also get started using some of these free widgets in Elements Kit. And if we go back right here, you realize that we have a number of other widgets that we can use in our Elementor website using Elements Kit. Now, if we go to the WP Forms widget, it is free of charge and these are the kind of forms you can create in your Elementor website using Elements Kit. And if we come here to our editor and come over here to the widgets form, we see we already have WP Forms here. We simply drag it to our canvas and here we can select the form that we want to use. Let me say the contact form one. And here we can start styling up how our form is going to look like. For example, if we come here to the style option, we have the labels, the typography, the text area, the field, description, and all that stuff. In case you want a tutorial on how to get started using WP Forms in your Elementor or WordPress website, I have a tutorial on that and you can check it up here in the card or in the description box below. Now, in case you don't want to use this form, you simply click on the widget, come here to content and switch to the form that you want. Once you finish watching that tutorial on how you can even create different WP forms to show up here in your Elementor website. Now, that aside, you can still add a lot more other widgets that are for free from Elements Kit. For example, like the Team widget, Pie Chart widget that we just looked into. And of course, there are also Pro widgets. For example, if you want to use the header and footers, there are also widgets for that you can display all that information here but in this case if you want to create headers and footers you should have the pro version of elements kit like i've also seen here a header off canvas in case you want to add an off canvas for your header you can simply add that here and you can even align this to any side of your website and you can even choose the icon that is going to appear here whether it's a hamburger or a closed icon choose the width you can choose the background type and a lot more other settings right here. Now, this is how the off canvas uh, demo looks like. When I come over here and I click here on the off canvas, boom, we get our off canvas section show up right here. Now, in a nutshell, that's what I really found interesting. Uh, from Elements Kit, they have amazing templates or widgets that you can get started with. You can create mega menus, but only in the pro version. Uh, you can access a number of other widgets for free from Elements Kit, and I think it's a worthwhile Elementor extension you can check out and see if it can be one that you can use in your Elementor website or projects. And if we go to the pricing, uh, they have two 
plans they have the yearly plans and the lifetime plans and under the yearly plan they have the personal professional and agency personal starts at 35 for a single website and professional 85 for five websites and agency for 179 dollars for unlimited websites you all have support and updates for one year and you have all these other options here including the header and footer builder mega menu builder and all that stuff so when we go to the lifetime plan they have for the personal website 119 dollars for one site lifetime updates and support the professional plan goes for two for nine dollars five websites lifetime updates and support and all these other widgets and add-ons or blocks that you can get started with and that means you also have access to even new widgets that they will be putting out and on the other hand the agency goes for four eight nine dollars for unlimited websites for a lifetime i actually think this is a worthy tool to check out and the fact that they already have also pre-made sections widgets that you can get started with is something that is really convincing for one to get started using elements kit in a nutshell that was my quick walkthrough into elements kit add-on for elementor in case you have any questions comments about this specific tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you're new to the channel please uh, subscribe and if you like the video give it a like thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.